Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are doing third session in Banking Regulation Act. Banking Regulation Act 1949 ka third session hum aaj kar rahe hain for IBPS, RRB, Scale 2 and Scale 3 2023 exam. Very important sessions in past I guess 3-4 uh, days. Uh, we have done two sessions. 20 questions mein already kar chuka hu and 20 we are, uh, 10 we are going to do today. Okay. So this is I guess 11th session in the series of providing important questions. So I have already prepared a playlist. So a playlist ko zaroor dekhe. Please go through the playlist. Link to the playlist is available in the description. Please check the description for the playlist. Okay. Let's start with the question number one. Before starting, let me tell you IBPS RRB Scale 2 Scale 3 2023 course is available on bankexamstudy.com in which covering the entire syllabus, pura conceptual videos uh, provide kari hai hai. there are notes quizzes test series entire syllabus coverage is there in the course right so which of the following is not a function of banking ombudsman under the banking regulation act 1949 so banking ombudsman ka function in is me se kya nahi hai to investigate complaints against a bank yes uh, ye to karte hai mediate bhi ye karte hai adjudicate the disputes they do that but they do not issue license for new banks. License jo hai RBI issue karta hai. Although R RBI ke under hi aata hai banking ombudsman. But banking ombudsman scheme ke under ye unka function nahi hai. This is not a function under banking ombudsman. Let me just hide myself so that you can read properly all the explanations. Let's move forward. So which of the following is not a type of banking company under Banking Regulation Act. So public sector bank, private sector bank, investment bank is not uh, a banking company. Cooperative banks, private sector, public sector banks, all these are banking companies under Banking Regulation Act, but investment banks, they are not the one. Okay. So this is the answer. Which of the following is not a provision under Banking Regulation Act regarding appointment of directors? Students, there is an RBI circular. There is an RBI circular, uh, RBI guidelines related to appointment of directors of banks. So just go through that. That's really, really important. Puri guideline humne padhai hui already. It's there in the course. Please check it. No person can be a director of a bank for more than six years. Uh, it provides that at least 51% of total number of members of board must possess special knowledge or practical experience. RBI can remove a director if it deems fit, which is correct. Appointment of directors must be approved by the shareholders. So A is the correct answer because a director, <coughs> uh, the act states that no director of a banking company other than its chairman or whole time director can hold the office for a period exceeding eight years. So this is according to Banking Regulation Act, not according to the RBI guidelines. Hai. So eight years, sak kar sakte hai. eight years, sak they can be a director, not six years. So which is a false answer. So A is false. What is the difference between paid up capital and authorized capital under Banking Regulation Act? Very basic question. What is authorized capital? The capital which is authorized by authorized for a bank itna capital authorized hai. that much capital can be raised by the bank what is paid up capital the capital which is paid up the money has been received for this capital so maybe authorized capital is 100 but till now 80 uh, crore has been issued so that is the difference between paid up and authorized capital so answer is a paid up capital is the amount of capital that has been received by a bank from its shareholder while authorized amount can be the maximum amount of capital that a bank is authorized to raise. Okay. So A is the correct answer. Which of the following is not a condition for appointment of chairperson of the board of directors under Banking Regulation Act. He must not be above the age of 70 years. <coughs> The sorry, the person must have at least 30 years of banking experience. This is false. So the person must not have been convicted of any criminal offense. The person must have been a resident of India for at least 10 years. So the person must have been uh, must have must have at least 30 years of banking experience is false because 
the the experience the requirement is i guess 10 years okay it is not uh, 30 years here it is at least 10 years of banking experience or financial sector experience is required 30 years ka experience is not required let's move forward <clears throat> under banking regulation act which of the following is not a ground for cancellation of banking license failure to comply with the rbi guidelines insolvency of the bank failure to maintain uh, minimum paid up capital submission of quarterly financial reports see if uh, quarterly financial reports are not submitted timely obviously uh, the license won't be cancelled insolvency is a ground obviously failures to comply with rbi guidelines major guidelines so kar sakte hain failure to maintain paid up capital or reserve requirement these are the grounds non submission of quarterly returns this is not a ground okay uh, you if you want to read in depth you can read here okay according to banking regulation act section 24 sub section 4 the rbi may cancel the license on the ground the company ceases to carry banking business the company fails to comply with any condition imposed on it the company fails to comply with any directions issued by rbi the company is prohibited from accepting deposits by any order under sub section 4 of section 35a the affairs of company are being conducted in a manner manner detrimental to the interest of the depositors the company is unable to pay its present or the future depositors in full as they become due whenever they are due they are unable to pay its depositors the company has by a special resolution of its shareholders decided to pay for cancellation of its license the company has become insolvent obviously in case of insolvency the license has to be cancelled so let's move forward so which of the following statement is true about banking regulation act 1949 the act provides for regulation and supervision of entire banking sector in india the act lays down rules and issuance of currency notes so it's not true obviously the act was enacted and enforced by in, uh, indian parliament in 1952 no it's it was in 1949 the act applies only to the scheduled commercial banks it's false so all of these are actually false right uh, the all the other statements are false the act provides for regulation and supervision of banking companies in india not the entire banking sector the banking regulation act does not apply to cooperative societies primary agriculture credit societies land development banks etc so not the entire banking sector in india sab pe lagu nahi hota the act does not deal with issuance of currency notes currency notes uh, issue karne ke sath it doesn't deal with that rbi deals with that so rbi act is there rbi act 1934 the act was enacted and enforced by indian parliament in 1949 not in 52 the act applies to all the banking companies in india whether they are scheduled or non scheduled okay so none of these is a correct answer scheduled or non scheduled dono pe apply hota hai which of the following statement is false about the statutory audit that every bank has to undergo under section 30 of the banking regulation act the statutory audit has to be conducted by a qualified auditor who is appointed by rbi in the consultation with the the central government so <clears throat> this is also false actually the statutory audit has to be conducted by two auditors that is also i guess false these two statements are false here okay the statutory audit has to be conducted in accordance with the uh, guidelines of icai which is correct this is true the statutory audit has to cover all the aspects of financial statements operations of banking so this is true the statutory audit has to be completed within 4 months from the end of financial year and submitted to rbi and this is true so a and b both are actually false okay here only a is mentioned but a and b both are false okay which of the following statement is true about reserve fund uh, uh, and reserve fund is mentioned in section 17 a reserve fund is a fund that every banking company has to maintain under section 17 of banking regulation act <clears throat> the reserve fund is a percentage of net profit of banking company that has to be transferred to a separate account before any dividend is declared and that that is correct that is correct okay so every banking company incorporated in india shall create a reserve fund and transferred to uh, transferred to it a sum equivalent to it 
not less than 20% of its net profit each year before any dividend is declared. So which of the following statement is false uh, about depositor education and awareness fund established under section 26 subsection A of Banking Regulation Act 1949. The fund consists of amount transferred by banking company for, uh, from its deposit accounts that have not been operated for 10 years. <coughs> this is true. The fund is administered by a committee appointed by finance minister and consists of seven members. So it's not five members, I guess it's seven members. The fund is utilized for promotion of depositors in trust for such uh, and for such purposes as prescribed by the RBI. The fund is audited by an auditor appointed by RBI who shall submit his report to RBI and the central government. The fund is exempt from income tax and other taxes or duty levable. So B is the correct answer. <coughs> B is actually the correct answer. Okay. Seven members are there, not five members. So students, IBPS RRB scale two, scale three uh, courses available on bank exams today. So we are covering the entire syllabus. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, live sessions, and interview preparation guidance. It's available on bankexamstoday.com. And in case there is any doubt in your mind, here is our WhatsApp number. You can call us, you can drop a WhatsApp message and we are going to answer you. Go through the previous sessions as well. A proper playlist is available. Link to the playlist is available in the description. Check the playlist, okay? And that's actually all for today's students. All these students that uh, they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your questions or you can also ask your questions in the uh, comment section and we are going to answer your doubts. That's all for today's students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.